So you want to know about options, but the tool variety only. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in uh, in, in, our, in our favorite, in our favorite. Our, you know it's our favorite. We don't like any other drawing application, okay? It's only this one. You know we're back in. We're back today, ladies and gentlemen. And we're taking a look at some tool options here because you guys have been asking me about um, brush stabilization. Um, so that's what we're taking a look at today. We're going to be doing that today. So, I have my mouse. I'm not using my drawing pad just to further um, accentuate how how rough something can be and how much you can actually smooth it out. So, my friends, if we're up here at the top right and we hit this little button right here, you can see that we can change the workspace to uh, multiple different uh, workspaces here. We have animation, which is, of course, animation, big vector, all that stuff. Um, but what, you're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to default. You can go to any one of them. As you'll have the tab in any one. If you don't have the tab, you can always go up to, I believe it is, uh, yeah, settings and then dockers and then everything you're, you're going to need is, is right here. So um, we're going to be looking for tool options, which is right here in the second tab right here. You can see if I pull this open a little bit, we got advanced color selector, tool options, boom, right there. That's what we need. We're going to be looking at the brush smoothing um, little option here which is very nice so right now it's set to basic and pretty much what that means if i draw something if i draw a line if i just draw the same speed like that super jagged super ugh, just terrible of course the mouse isn't helping but you can see how terribly jaggedy that is because it's on basic now we can bump this up to weighted i can draw the same exact line once again same approximate speed There you go. So you see already that's a much smoother outcome, um, which is much nicer, as you can tell. The next thing we have here is the stabilizer, which I can do the same exact thing. Approximately the same speed. Perfect. And you can see this one has much, like literally, that looks like a, 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 a tool that I just took the line tool and just drew a line. It's, it's really an amazing tool. As you can see, it does... Um, it does, ha it does have a little bit of delay. So when I'm drawing, it's way up there. You see my cursor is way down here, but the, the actual drawing piece is way up there. So I gotta take wider motions, but that's totally fine to get that super smooth line. Um, very cool, very neat. So um, this is a super easy way to get a line look like this instead of like this, because um, it just looks super bad. It's just not very good. And of course, this, the smoother you draw, the smoother it'll be. And of course, if you're having trouble with the lines looking jagged, it's because you're drawing in too small of a resolution. Right now, I'm in 1920 by 1080, which is way too small if you're going to be drawing. Um, if you're animating, that's fine. Um, I might even do 2K, which is 2560, 1440 to animate. But to draw 1920, 1080 is way too small. So you're going to get these little jagged edges. If you need to learn more about why your lines are jagged or edgy like this, then I have plenty of other videos on my channel about that. So you definitely go check that out if you're having issues with jagged edged lines or blurry lines like this. Um, so yeah, we also have none, which obviously is no stabilization. And you can see it's like really super bad. Just, I mean... It, it's, it almost looks better than this one, actually, which is kind of weird. Let me try that again. See, maybe none looks better. I don't, oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, hold on, wait, no, yeah, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, 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 definitely not. Okay, so this is none. This is basic. This is, what is the next one? Uh, weighted, then this one is stabilizer. So you can obviously see the difference in these lines. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed. Hope you learned something about tool options and brush smoothing. That's what's called brush smoothing. Stabilizer, one more thing, delay and distance. If we turn those all the way up, you remember how it was. Now you can see I got to go way down here to the edge of the circle. The circle, depend, the circle dictates how far you have to be out side of it to for it to go so you have to be outside of this giant big circle for the line to actually start drawing something see my cursor is way down here now once i hit this line boom starts drawing and that's pretty much what that is so it just makes it even more smooth but as you can tell it's very difficult to draw with that that big so we're going to change the distance and the delay down a little bit and now we have a much uh, more suitable line if i bump it up even more there we go so very very cool stuff uh you're probably not going to want to mess with the settings too much unless you're using stabilizer like i said weighted Pretty much not going to mess with that too much. And then um, basic as well. So you also might want to turn uh, smooth pressure on. You probably won't need to. Like I said, it'll be totally fine um, without any of this. Uh, even on without either one of those most likely. But 
I recommend just keeping on defaults. They work perfectly great the way that they already are. Um, but yeah, if you didn't know that these are here, then they are definitely here. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, once again, I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.